We're out here today digging. My buddy Kurt and Shane over there. I got a great signal here. In a vacant lot I've been to before. Seventies, eighties. It's uh two inches deep. So let me put this detector down and we're gonna see if we can dig this. It might be a beer can or something. I mean I've detected here a lot, kinda. But who knows? It could be a silver quarter, silver dime or something. Let's uh see where it's at. Still in there. Okay, I think I found it. I'm using my hand trowel, a new one. It's a Model 85B from PredatorTools.com. It's a nice one though. Here it is. Wonder it gave such a good signal. What is that? To a watch or something probably. I don't know what. Looks very. Uh, no, I think I broke it. Decorative. Not sure what that is. Probably goes to a lock or something. Who knows? Yeah, well, clean it up later. Hey, we're out here detecting a cornfield and old house back in there we've been here about I'd say an hour I haven't dug anything but beer cans and you know junk and I just got a signal out there and um, here it is it's a 1919 wheat scent first one to score a weedy at this site at least so let's keep on digging so there's Kurt over there digging and uh, got a good signal here but Tim's about to come now he just pulled in he's about to come to Ted with us but uh it showed up as a nickel. It's an old bent up fork. How amazing. It showed up as a nickel. But uh, the house was right in there. And we're hunting the cornfield, which was like the side yard. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I just you got, got a coin one. here. I haven't even touched it yet. Up, oh, another wheat scent. Man, that's great. To clean it up and see what year it is. But hopefully there's some silver around here somewhere. So I just got another good signal here. And Kurt's complaining. But it's a wheat penny. <laughs> oh man, nice and green. Let's see what year it is. 1940, 47. It looked no 41. 1941. So pretty good find. I know there's some silver around here somewhere. So okay, we're out here at a vacant lot where a 1911 house used to be. Right there. They tore it down two weeks ago, and a construction company is going to come in and bulldoze all the land and trees away. But my third signal of the day here. We've only been here, I would say, about seven minutes, and uh, got a great signal. I started right here and worked my way down, and I got my sensitivity at 83 on the F75 here, using it motion all metal, and I done forgot the ground uh, balance number, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Got a great signal down about six inches, and I uh, broke the plug open, and there it is, silver mercury dime. God, man, that's awesome sure what year 1940 something from the camera view but man that's awesome night silver of the year so hopefully I can find my tenth keep on digging okay I just rechecked the mercury dime hole and I'm getting a kind of bouncy signal but it's staying in the 80 range that's quarter six inches and I really hope it's a bar of a quarter or something Man, we're having a good day so far. So, uh, hope this is something good. Come on. Okay, it's showing up kind of low, so this might be something like trash, but. Oh, it's a piece of lead or something. In the same hole as a mercury dime. Could have been something good. Get back to the, the digging. Show y'all find anything else. We're still digging. I've been finding mostly stinking Lincolns and stuff, but I walked back there behind them barns. There's a humongous tree in the woods, and uh, right beside it I found this insulator, which is not too old, probably 40s, 50s. Still has the wooden peg in it broken too bad but still a nice little find and I got this skull that's a dog or a cat or something it's like a little dog skull or something but uh yeah it's pretty cool dad's digging a hole right there so hopefully we can find something good 
not many high tones around here left, but uh, we'll build them over there. And I want to head back there in the woods, get out of this yard, and see if I can find something out there. Just got done digging a big hole here, about three foot long, uh, two and a half feet wide. It's where the kids played. There was sand in here. All the other dirt's clay, so we dug it out and found a whole bunch of toy cars and about eight or nine marbles. No coins though, but hopefully there's some more coins around here somewhere. So we'll get back to Got it. a good signal here. I have a feeling it's going to be like a beer can or a big piece of iron, but we'll see what it is. Might be a Morgan Dollar, or it might be a piece of junk like this. Well, that's where it was. Jump. Jump. In the pouch. Jump to the next hole. Okay. Stay on the final point. That's more of a dime reading. There we go. Let's see what we got. Turn on the Garrett Pro Pointer. Probably a bottle cap. Oh, there it is. It's not a coin though, it's a... What is it? It's a piece of metal. Off something. Huh? You got a dime? Right beside the truck. We're back at the house. I've done... Got some food. We're starving. Didn't dig much at that 1911 house. Got a mercury dime. Like 26 cents in clad. And lots of toy cars and stuff, but she got an awesome signal here. Rang in like 86, 87, and I knew it was going to be something good. And it looks like it's going to be something good. It's like we got a token or something. Let's see what it says. Huh? Whole bunch of writing on there. Okay. What about this said. Man, right on both sides. Usually there's a picture. It must be like a religious token or something. See where I nicked it right there? It was under the little root in the hole there. It's aluminum. Looks like it. Yeah. Still good, good uh, find. The like Bible verse or something. But anyway, I'll clean it up later and show it to y'all. Hopefully there's some Silver out here, I'm using the F-75, and motion all metal. Okay, I got a great signal here. I'm not exactly sure what it is at this moment, but it looks to be like a, one of them Boy Scout tent stakes. Never dug one of these, so they made them similar during the Civil War, but this isn't Civil War stuff. This is might be a tent stake if it's anything. And uh, yeah, the pole would go there, this would poke in the ground. And, uh, that's what it looks. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, that's nice. You have a good uh, 6970 signal right at dime. Took a two hour break. Now I'm back out in the neighbor's yard. And uh, scarce on signals. Been going about 10 minutes and I only got one signal. I dug it. Here it is. Right there. It's a wheat scent. Scent for sure, so it's a nice find. Showed up around 68, 69 on the meter. I'm back at it using the mine lab again on Bullet Hill, and uh, it's around two day of day three, so. Nice signal there. It's probably down real deep. So we finished digging this. And we'll see what we got here. Nice soft dirt compared to that root I was digging in. Okay, let's just take out the garret and 